Hey guys, StarGazer1331 back once again, bringing you part 5 of the playthrough of Crash Bandicoot to Insanity. This time, it'll be the Ice Climb. Which is a uh, kind of a long level, actually. This, this is the longest level of the game so far, I'd say next to Cavern Catastrophe so far. And unfortunately, much to my sugar, the music is not turning up. Now, at any rate, here we go. Up across these, don't worry, you will not sink totally into the water. Kill those pretty bad. Now, watch it happen to your ice land. Ah, that won't bad. Alright, just, 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 just the little things in this game. Okay, well, okay, I didn't know you could slide through them. Wow, I mean, literally, I've had the game since it came out, and I just didn't even know you could slide through the, um, uh, the, um, uh, stalagmites. You obviously can't do that to the, the stalactites. Time just stays there. You, 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 he'll still hurt you if you touch him. Sorry. Sorry about that. I had to kill you. never ever disappear. So if you hit a newer checkpoint, the older checkpoint box will go back to normal, which is you know, kind of weird. And very, very different from classic crash band games, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because unfortunately, I mean, although I get it, I, maybe I gotta check out the newer crash band games, but I mean at least at least even this one had had some platforming elements like the classic one. Alright. 
kind of been slow. Wrath of Cortex didn't do as well as we'd hoped, and... <sighs> Fish? <laughs> Look on Cortex's face. She goes from, like, Fish to Gun, like, in the next frame, I think. Or not here. Right here. I don't like the penguins aren't even giving two shits, like, uh, okay, since so when you pull out a friggin' gun... Forget this crap, we're leaving. Yeah, I think I might have missed a gem back in the other place, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go get that. Yeah, and I don't I don't know that I forget. Alright. That that life token is a little bit glitchy. Like you just have to jump up these things and like in like in like a very, very, very specific way. Like that. Some, sometimes I've had it where like I fell through that and it didn't count apparently. Okay, why don't you just do it? Oh, I don't know why. Oh, it
And here comes a boss battle. Free again! Mighty Uka Uka! I wish Clancy Brown did the voice again. Who has released me from my icy tomb? My, my! Can it be? Crash and Cortex? I don't know whether to kiss you or kill you! Uh, how about no, you crazy bandicoot bastard? Yeah, I mean, Lex Lang as Cortex is actually pretty damn good. I mean, although I still like Clancy Brown a little bit better as Cortex, but I wish Clancy Brown came back as Ubu, but that would have been just freaking tops if that happened. That would have been the shit. Alright, okay. Alright, mechanics of this boss fight. Number one, don't get hit, obviously. And number two, toss Cortex to... Never mind. Toss it over to one of those switches. Wait for holding that. Step on the switch. Wait for the flames to shoot up. And then hit the that's taking a hit off. And just go to just go to the other two switches and then that's it. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. to destroy this world. No! That's my job! <laughs> oh, Divided, that we are but two magical masks. Join me, and together we shall defeat this evil infestation. I like a challenge. I accept. This should be fun! The Aku Uka brothers, together again. Come along! Now, one, one thing about the voices is that in terms of the only original voices that are left, and I should say as of like Crash Bandicoot 3, um, because that was pretty much when the classic voices started coming, except, well, well, Clancy Brown and his voice, voice Cortex even started from the second game, but in, ter in terms of like the classic voices, the only ones that are left are Debbie Derryberry, who does, um, uh, freaking Coco, and Mel Winkler, who does Aku Aku. Those are the only two original voices that are left. As a crash three. Ah oh, man, it's kind of fine just reminiscing on, on all, the, all the stuff. Oh man. Son of a. Uh. Okay, let's try that again. What have we got? Try that again. Yeah, I knew. I kind of, kind of figured that was risky. I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't think I even. Actually, no, I didn't feel like this was gonna be question mark. Right now. All right, I mean, you would think being so close to those things that they would just kill them anyway. But nope. Yep, no way, Jose. Alright, so, so with that said, that, that's gonna about do it for the Ice Climb section. And for the next part, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing a little part of the story that's important. And also, after that, I'll be, uh, I'll just, uh, which, that next part after that, it's gonna be a quickie, because literally I'll just be doing that, plus showing you the gem I missed in Ice Climb. And then after that, I'll be doing the next level, official level, which will be Slip Slide Ice Capades. Well, with that said, um, uh, yeah, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this part, and that's it. Yeah, stay tuned for part six, which will be kind of short. So, that's it. Catch you guys later. Hey guys, Stargazer1331 back once again, bringing you part six of the playthrough of Crash to Insanity. And this time I'm going to be doing a little mini boss battle, and then after that I'll be, um, going, I'll, I'll be going back to Ice Climb to get that gem that I missed. <laughs> Which, let me just see very quickly what it, what gem it was. Ah, it was the which yeah the blue gem literally is at like the beginning of the freaking level too, and I missed it. Which, 
that kind of kind of ticks me off a little bit. It's just like like it was like really like like really bad. Could, you, you just couldn't just remember that. Nope. Wow. That's wow. That was a nice image. There we go. That's better. Add a bandicoot. Oh yeah, that one. That's all right. What happened to that one is that the twins literally just like, like hit completely, completely handed on um, uh, the um, uh, or I should say, completely destroyed the, the um, Aku Aku and the Uka. And so, so in retaliation, they literally sent an army of ants. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. The, the, yeah, those, those creatures are called the um, called, are called the ants. Now, 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 as the story entailed, apparently Cortex had some sort of had, had some sort of thing going on with the, with, the, with, the, with the two um uh, with, with the two parrots. Apparently, he knew them in a previous um, knew them previously in his life, and you'll find out what that is soon enough. What have you done? Who are these evil upstarts? I've ruined the lives of so many. I can't be expected to remember them all. Such a big head. Such a tiny brain. If we deliver him to the evil twins, perhaps they will spare us. But they'll kill me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Huh? Crash, I've been like a father to you. I created you, nursed you, tried to destroy you. So what do you say? With my mighty intellect and your vacuous stupidity, will be unbeatable. Yeah, you put it that way. This way to the psychotron. Oh yeah, which another cutscene will ensue. And after that, I can finally head back to the uh, to the ice cavern. Well, actually, theoretically, I can actually do that now. Hey, there it is. I hate it too, because yeah, I think it is literally the very, very beginning of the damn level too. And I, and I, and I don't fuck it up. Sort of, I think like. Where is he? Where is that bandicoot? Yeah, I mean, because from what I remember, the gem clearly is controlling the area where you can no longer bash. Which is great, because I do not want to fight the dude. Hey, bats. Bye, bats. Okay, I literally just remembered where it was. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I kind of and I, I kind of uh, lost track of where I was. But yeah, here we go. It's right there. And for some reason, the gem wasn't spinning around either. I don't know why. It was just it was just in a just in a still animation. Which I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah. So yeah. Sorry to end that kind of abruptly there. I literally just I just went right by and I didn't even know. And I was getting Scared about where it was. But, but now, but now I know I. Uh, what the freaking hell just happened? 
wait, can you not go back anymore? Oh, that's a pile of bull crap. Oh, man. Uh, hold on, guys. Alright. Yeah, rather than showing you the freaking Uka Uka fight again, I'm just, um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna end this part right here. So, with that said, um, uh, so, yeah, this is a very, very short and confusing part. Sorry about that, but, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of losing my focus here a little bit. So, so, so that said, um, uh, hope you enjoyed this part, and that said, stay tuned for part seven, which will consist of, I am, um, uh, Slipside Ice Capade, which will be coming up sometime. See you guys later.